News 3 weather from the Pinpoint Forecast team. Brought to you by the Bank and Trust. Local bank, local bankers. And now, local weather. Reinforcing cold front came through overnight for the Brazos Valley. Really, the only thing we had to show for it today was the breezy and gusty winds. We peaked over 30 miles per hour at times, but now as of the 6 o'clock hour, we're starting to settle down out there. Just a few uh, gusts picking up anywhere from 15 to 25. Sun is going down. It is a beautiful night and finishing up a fantastic day. Room temperature over here at uh, East Shore Airport, 72 degrees. Relative humidity is coming up, but it is very dry out there, and that's because of that north to northwest wind. If the breeze is not your uh, thing, just give it another hour, hour and a half, and we should see these winds calm down. And that's going to set temperatures to fall in quickly. In fact, you're already back into the 60s up in Crockett. 68 checks in there. Madisonville, you're knocking on the door. 72 in Navasota, 71 in Conroe. Cameron, back over to Caldwell. 73 degrees right now in uh, down around, say, Somerville, back over towards the uh, Brenham area. 72 degrees is where we are now. We lose 10 degrees by 8 o'clock. Back into the 50s by the time we get to 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. It will be cool. It will be chilly and it's going to be the coldest morning we get for at least the next couple. We drop down to 45 here in Bryan College Station. So across the Brazos Valley, most of us are dropping into the low 40s as we start today. Don't have to worry about a wind chill because the winds will be calm in the morning. But 41 to 43 from the Brazos River points off towards the west. 45 again here in town. 40 to 42 across Leon County. 41 in Madisonville and Navasota. We may come close to the 30s across Crockett and Trinity got you officially at 40, but wouldn't be surprised to see a couple upper 30s check in tomorrow morning. But again, we start warming very slowly. Tomorrow is going to be a gem. Blue skies from start to finish. Temperatures very seasonable and very comfortable. But by the end of the day, a westerly wind starts turning southwesterly, and that's slightly warmer. That'll get us closer to 80 by the time we get to your Thursday. For tomorrow, though, as we make our way there, those west-northwest winds are much lighter than today. We take the chill. We shake it off to a very comfortable day. Looking at the mid to upper 70s coming up for tomorrow, anywhere from about, say, 75 to 78 for most Maybe a little cooler out here across our northeastern counties. Let me take you out to the west. Lots to talk about the heat, especially around Los Angeles, where the uh, game one of the World Series is going on. Last hour there at 103. The heat will stay on for the west coast because high pressure is really going to build overhead. But that high pressure pushed the jet stream all the way to places like Alaska and northern Canada, where temperatures are anywhere from the 20s to about freezing. It's 32 degrees right now in Yellowknife. That's where our jet stream is going to take from the north push down to the south, and that's going to push your next cold front into the Brazos Valley. So by Thursday, many of us are in the low 80s. By Friday, temperatures will be tumbling. We fall into the 50s, and I don't know that we're going to recover before the end of the day to get out of the 50s on Friday with a strong north wind. What's really impressive is going to be your overnight lows. More often than not, our overnight lows are going to be unseasonably cold for this time of the year. We're looking for the 30s possible by Saturday and Sunday morning. And that's going to allow Saturday's temperatures, even with sunshine, to only top off maybe at 60 degrees. We're going to fight to nail gets to get to 60 degrees come Saturday. We'll turn that around back up closer to 80 degrees by Tuesday, ahead of our next cold front that could bring a better rain chance to the Brazos Valley. But lots of cold fronts coming through those seven-day forecasts and lots of air, at least for folks that like the cooler weather. This is going to be... The first one of the season that I think gets you really in the mood. My favorite thing so far about the cooler weather is my son on the way to school being like, no, nah, mom, I'll just turn on the, the seat warmer mm -hmm. <laughs> to warm up a little bit. That's kind of cool. Your son's <laughs> living life right. <laughs> yeah. Even if you don't need it yet, you can do it. Yeah. And that's the only reason to do it. Thanks, Sean. All about it. Thanks.